Welcome to the Plan Do Check Act Cycle, a presentation of ISO-help.com. The Plan Do Check Act Cycle is fundamental to any quality system, and examples of its use are all around us. Today we're going to look at the Plan Do Check Act Cycle as it applies to the sport of fishing. The first step in every fishing trip is the plan. In the planning stage, you make sure you have the proper resources, equipment, expertise or training, and everything else you need to do the job. In fishing, that means you have to use the right kind of bait, fish in waters where there are known to be fish, go with the kind of equipment you need, and go at the time of the day that you know the fish will be biting. The planning step is highly dependent on the job specification. The resources must be appropriate for the job. If you're Jeremy Wade, trying to catch giant eels in the Amazon, your equipment and training needs will be completely different and much more complicated than a more low-key fishing trip. Now it's time for the do stage. The standard operating procedure, developed in the planning stage, is the basis for this step. This is where the know-how and fishing system that a person has developed over time comes in. In the world of fishing, this is quite often accumulated over a lifetime of experience and handed down through generations. Occasionally, a process failure occurs. In the quality systems world, an FMEA is generated. In fishing, any of a dozen things can happen to cause a failure to catch a fish. Failure mode and effects analysis may be performed if your due step does not go according to plan. Along with the do phase, records are quite often generated describing the activities of the process. In professional fishing, records are kept on the conditions, type of bait, time of day, and other things that might be important for performance improvement later on. During the check phase, the results of the process are checked for success. Outputs are compared to the expectations that were developed during the planning stage. If there's a difference between the expected and actual results, a thoughtful fisherman will try to figure out what happened. This includes some root cause analysis, analysis of data, and at the end of the day there's a process of review to try to understand what was successful and what to do better next time. Quite often, there are corrective actions that drive change in the system. Finally, the act phase. Sometimes this is the most difficult phase because it requires people to change what they're doing. The corrective actions, or other results of the check phase, point to process improvements to either eliminate defects or preferably lead to continual improvement. Sometimes this results in procedural or other changes, and sometimes this leads to rethinking the job specification. Fishing for giant eels is not for everybody. The act phase leads to change, a small word, but it's the only way to improve. At the end of the cycle, a new plan is formed. If you didn't catch anything the first time, maybe by making some improvements to your process, you can do better next time. It looks like this time the system worked, but there's a bigger one out there somewhere. Plan, do, check, act is a permanent cycle. It's a path to continual improvement. For more information, go to www.iso-help.com and thanks for watching this presentation.